Um, I live in Costa Rica. It's one of the nicest countries I've ever lived in. I have the, the best clientele there. Um, almost exclusively local people. I really like the, um, the Latin uh, savoir vivre, if you like. People know how to live. Um, they like this whole kind of ritual being at tab. Um, you sit there, you're in conversation, there's laughter, there's chinking of glasses, uh, you know, there's um, enjoyment of food and wine and uh, just being in company with people that you're all there with. I did one evening um, last year in the South Coast for a friend um, at his hotel, just uh, because sometimes I'm really nostalgic for the produce here in, in Europe. David came down and attended the evening, we chatted, um, we were talking about Pied de Terre, he said, do you realize it's 25 years since we opened? He had the plan for some kind of celebration. And then he invited me to come back for a week. I'm really very grateful that David's given me the opportunity to you know, see a lot of old people that I'm really quite fond of and use all this really nice produce. This was one of the formative periods of our lives. I, I would imagine the same for him as well. I mean, for those five years together, we launched a restaurant. We were a couple of kids. I mean, it was really, really hard. We were, um, you know, uh, we were making everything up as we went along. I mean, we had some kind of tutelage, you know, from people helping us and things like this. But otherwise, we had to go out and make our own mistakes and try to recover from them and things like this. So it was a really exciting time. It's fantastic having Richard here. It's absolutely amazing. He left here 20 years ago. Uh, and he has a reputation that goes before him as a man who is meticulous about what he does and how he does things. And he's an old-fashioned chef. He has classic technique. And the chefs in the kitchen are really excited about working with him. You know, we've, the water bath's been put into storage. The vacuum packer's not being used. The Paco jet's been put in, into storage as well. Richard's just using old-fashioned cooking techniques. The customers so far this week have been a bit of a mix. We've definitely had a lot of regulars coming back. And I, you know, I just had some comments yesterday from one who said, I just thought it was going to be you know, a blast from the past, a bit of nostalgia. He said, I didn't realize the food was going to be so amazing. Because this is the food that got Pied de Terre two star in Michelin in 96. And it is really, really well received. The thing about Richard's food was it was way before its time. His ideas, his textures, the way he uses hot and cold together, the flavor combinations. You know, he was a man before his time, basically. Andy and Richard are chalk and cheese. They're both brilliant chefs, but, and they work brilliantly together because of that. Uh, Andy is organized, and to do an event like this for a week with a chef who's come halfway around the planet, it's really, you need somebody who is absolutely meticulous in the detail. And actually, Andy is thrilled to be working with Richard. It's for him, Richard's one of these iconic chefs, you know, somebody that he, whose food he never ate, and now he's here cooking it for a week. It's going to be interesting to see what the legacy of Richard's week will be to the food at Pied-à-Terre and how it might continue to inform. Mm -hmm.